<laughs> yeah. See, kick, kick back. Kick back is an idiom. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to kick you back. <laughs> no. But what I'm going to do is, when I say kick back, it means I'm going to relax. You know. Um, you know. Sit down. You know. Have a have a lemonade. You know. Maybe sit by the pool. You know. Kick back. Relax. Take it easy. So it's an idiom. It's an idiom. No. Uh -uh. No, an idiom. Okay. Now, that was a good example. That was a good example. Now, uh, I would like you to, uh, I would like somebody to say something to, oh, I don't know. Say something to uh, Nat using correctly the word shouldn't. Shouldn't. Contraction for should not. Say something to her that uses shouldn't correctly. And what we're doing is we're giving advice that that uh-huh. Okay, good example. Because uh, caffeine, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh. So um, that would be good advice to me because <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> um, okay, that's a good example, a very good example. Um, Think of a sentence, think of a sentence that uses has to correctly. Has to. Think of a sentence that uses has to correctly. She has to come early. Okay, uh huh. She has to come early, uh huh. Which is uh, a necessity. What we're, we're, we're giving, the meaning that we're, we're giving is it is necessary for her to come early. She has to come early, okay? Um, think of a sentence that uses have to correctly. You, you have to ask questions when you don't understand. Excellent example. Very good example. It's necessary. See, have to means that it's necessary to do something. So you have to ask questions when you don't understand something. Good example. Okay? So you're doing very, very well. Now, do you find it uh, harder to think of examples on your own? Then when we look at examples in the exercise book, um, I think probably you do because that means that you're getting you're getting better at using the language. Um, so what we're going to start doing a little bit because your 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 language is improving is uh, your English is that we're, we'll we'll still do exercises from the book, but what I'm going to start doing is asking you to think of sentences on your own. You know because when we're, when we're in, in everyday speech, when we're, when we're actually conversing with someone, we can't look at the book. You know, we have, to, we have to just automatically think of what to say. So we're going to practice thinking of our own sentences and doing more um, dialogue back and forth. So, very well done. Do a good job. Want to return to our story? Oh, um, I thought of, I, um, I think I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Sackhorn, who works at the Marinot office, to find um, a DVD with the movie on it, Slumdog Millionaire. Do you want to take some time in class to, to see some of the movie? Yes. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I'm sure he can, you know, find from a, a video rental place or something, you know, how to, how to get that movie for us. And then I can uh, put it in my computer, you know, to play. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Um, uh, oh. <laughs>
This, this one's my cup. Excuse me. I have my bookmark here. Okay. Do you need a book? Uh, I think there's some more in. Uh, I think there are some more in the cabinet. Is, yeah. Anybody else need one? I think there are some more in the cabinet. Well, when um, where did we leave off? Where did we leave off? Does anybody remember where we um, stopped? It was on page 43, half, halfway through. Yeah, right there it said, uh, you remember, remember what happened is, is uh, yeah, we, uh, uh, the, the father, the father, the astronomer had uh, been real angry and he has uh, struck his daughter and she's in the hospital and, and uh, some tea got poured on her face and so she has bandages all over her face and, and uh, Ram goes to see the mother and the daughter at the hospital and we start to see that there is uh, there are some feelings between Ram and the daughter. Um, now, I, I got a question here. See, I haven't read this story yet. I'm just reading this with you for the first time, so I don't know what's going to happen, and I haven't seen the movie, so I don't I don't really know exactly what's going to happen. I have a general idea of what the movie is about, so I'm just reading this along with you. But. Um, when I read something, I begin to think, okay, what's going to happen next? You know, you, you sort of start to think about what, what's going to happen next. Well, what I have observed so far in this story is that we'll, there'll be a, an episode, part of the story, an episode, and something will happen, and then we'll get, there will be a flashback to the quiz show. And one of the questions on the quiz show is coincidentally something that he learned from that episode. For example, we, we have a story about how he was, um, how he lived with the priest when he was very, very young. And he learned uh, the, about the symbols of the uh, Christian religion. Well, coincidentally, the first question was about one of those symbols. He knew the answer. And then um, he lives with the actress as her servant. And he learns about all of her movies and when she received the award. And then flash back to the quiz show. Coincidentally, he's asked about what the, this award was. He knew it. And then we have the episode of the soldier story. And he learned about the different awards that are given for bravery. Well, coincidentally, he's asked a question about that award. So every time, every time we have an episode in the story, there's something he learns. And then we get a flashback to the quiz show, and he's asked a question. Now, this is what I'm thinking. You tell me if you think I'm wrong. But... Uh, we know, you know, he's listening on the wall with his glass and he's, he's, he's hearing the astronomer talk about all of the planets in the sky and all of the stars and all of the constellations. Do you suppose, I'm just, I'm just guessing here, but do you suppose that the next question on the quiz show is going to be something about the planets? Perhaps, perhaps, we'll see. Um, 
We also know, we also know that the story is probably going to get complicated with the relationship between Ram and the daughter, Giada. Some, I, there, there are going to probably be some complications here. You know, so it's, uh, because we wouldn't be told that these feelings are starting to come out between the two of them if that wasn't going to figure into the story somehow. So we'll have to read and see how that goes on. We start with uh, Gudia. Gudia. Gudia came home from the hospital. And uh, who would like to begin reading for us this time? You want to start, Kat? Go ahead, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go around. Ben, you'll be next, and we'll just go around a circle like that. Okay? Yeah. A week later, I heard her crying, and in to that, I had to do different things. It would rather have to help his sister. Unfortunately, there was a war between us, but there was a small hole at the bottom of the wall. It's what it enough for me to put my hand through. Sister, don't cry. I put her on my hand, and someone did hold my hand immediately. A feeling of grief or love has thrown me. I became part of uh, Ketia and could feel her pain as if it was my own. 